Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Toughness coming at you with another music reaction. Today, we have returned. It has been man, three, four months uh, since we've done a reaction to Pink Floyd. We did one previously on the channel. We did a live performance of them performing the song Comfortably Numb at, I think it was the Pulse concert, if I remember correctly. Um, we had a lot of great feedback from it. Um, and as, at the time, I said... I still say this. I'm still relatively unfamiliar with uh, the band. Obviously, I know their name. They're huge. They're worldwide renowned. Um, and I, I know I've heard some of their songs. Uh, and I did realize that I have heard Comfortably Numb uh, as we went through that uh, experience. Because that's what Pink Floyd is. It's an experience. Um, and it was, oh my goodness. If you haven't seen that reaction, go check it out. Uh <laughs> It's long. I will warn you that it is a very long reaction, but uh, the guitar solo in that song was probably the best guitar solo I've ever heard in my life. It was wild to listen to. Um, performed by David Gilmour, if I believe. I know his last name's Gilmour. I think it's David. Um, but what an incredible, incredible performance to hear those guys live. Um, and I went through the comments, but this one specifically was uh, through donation here to do a reaction to the song called Time. So shout out to Lisa. Thank you so much for your support and generosity. And I'm excited to come back with some Pink Floyd. It's been too long. It's been way too damn long. And we are here. We've arrived. Hope you're ready. Um, I had the lyrics pulled up. And one thing about Pink Floyd is um, from what I've heard, uh, trying to comprehend their lyrics is really difficult and it's kind of it stretches your mind beyond what your brain capacity can handle um but i got the lyrics pulled up i'm going to attempt to break it down in my head somehow i probably won't be able to do it um but that's kind of the unique factor about uh this band and what they've done uh with their music um so do me a favor, guys. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you do enjoy listening to Pink Floyd and as well as watching our reactions here. It helps the channel grow. It allows us to do more reactions to Pink Floyd, obviously. Um, but we've had, we had, I went back before making this video here, I went back to that uh, Comfortably Numb video and went through a bunch of the comments and there's just, everybody's telling me I got to go through the whole I got to go on the journey, the Pink Floyd journey, go through the whole dark side of the moon. And that's where this song came from, uh, which that album came out in 1973. So what is that? 40, 50, 48 years ago. Math is hard. Uh, 48 years ago. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I mean, to this day, people live by this band. That's the effect that Pink Floyd has on people. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to check them out. I hope you guys are too. Here we go. Time by Pink Floyd. Let's do it. Wow. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. I should set that as my alarm clock. I'll never miss an alarm if that's it. Holy. Like a heartbeat.
just right out of the gate, almost two minutes in, extremely long intro. Those the the alarms, the clocks. Oh my goodness, that was extremely loud. Um, but what they're doing afterwards with the nice little the drum beats and just those like kind of like the chimes, those little pieces, those notes coming in, like they are so strong and effective. Oh my, like it's it's totally set in the mood. <sighs> so cool. I wish I, I thought about doing a a live performance of this. Um but I was told to do specifically uh they they linked me this video to do this version um cuz I guess a lot of the live versions um are more late in their career that have really good quality and they you know, hey Lisa this is this is yours um but man it sounds so cool extremely unique I've never there's no other band that I can recall listening to that sound like this uh especially in the beginning like your intro setting this uh feeling on me I, it's very unique Okay. And I love the drums, man. Aggressively pick it up more and more. That's that's awesome. Picking away the moments that make up a dull day. Fritter and waste the hours in love and way. Picking around on a piece of ground in your hometown. Waiting for some. Whoa. Like like I said before, like their lyrics are just really uh they're very unique. Um but coming into this uh well, we're in the first verse. It, but the the second part of this verse Tired of lying in the sunshine, staying home to watch the rain. You are young and life is long and there's time to kill today. You are young and life is long and there's time to kill today. So, like, I'm assuming that's more of a thinking, you know, us at a young age as children, teenagers or whatever, you know, to where we don't really recognize time specifically. Um, we're just kind of doing our day to day thing. You know, you, you really don't really don't plan full days like having a routine you're just, you know doing things here and there you don't realize how much time's going by then one day you find 10 years have got behind you no one told you when to run you missed the starting gun <laughs> um for me uh, and this could be completely wrong guys i i'm just this is how i'm interpreting it for hearing this the first time um i look back i'm in my 30s now but i look back of when i was in school um i i got out get a job and then i joined the military spent uh, about nine years in uh, the air force but like thinking about when i was in school to where i'm at now i mean it's my time has doubled you know, graduating at the age of 18 from high school. And now, you know, I'm going to be turning 35 this year. So I'm almost two times as old as I was then, but it feels like yesterday to me. Um, 
And I know a lot of people say that, like, my parents always said that all the time growing up, and they still do now. Like, uh, you know, you'll blink, and then all of a sudden, you know, all this will happen. And it's true. But, I mean, you hear it all the time. And when you're young, you really don't, you don't think about that uh, logically. Um, it's just kind of like, oh, whatever. Some old man's telling me this. No, it's, it's, it's legitimately true. So uh, that's what I'm getting from that part of the song here, which is really interesting. I mean, for a song that was written 48 years ago, and I'm reading this now, that is so powerful. Wow. I'm assuming that's Mr. Gilmore breaking that solo out. That right there, that is the reason why I would love to check out. I'll probably go look at a live version after I finish this recording, but I want to see him play that solo. Like that, that is literally like speaking through your guitar. Very few guitarists, in my opinion, are capable of having that power that emotion to present from your instrument it is oh, it is like a drug man it's and it's like an incredible high from it i don't <laughs> oh this is i don't know what to do anymore <laughs> i don't know what to do anymore this is incredible Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so the sun is the same in a relative way, but you're older, shorter of breath, and one day closer to death. So now we're getting older at this point in the song. Um, I don't know what the age would be, but no, like, I mean, if we're looking at it at a, you know, a medical standpoint as far as uh, your health, I mean, that, that kind of you know, speaks for itself. I mean, getting older, our body's not what it used to be. Um, and yeah, each day that goes by, we are getting closer to death. Shorter of breath. I don't know who, I don't know if, like, the, if this was, like, the whole band that writes their songs or if it's, uh, I believe it's Roger Waters is the, the singer here. Um, or if he's the one that writes the writes the lyrics, but either way, the fact to be that creative almost fifty years ago 
that's incredible. You know, I mean, I, I grew up, the music I listened to was so redundant. The, the lyrics were just, I don't know, like just the, the idea of the songs that I heard growing up. And even a lot of it, it's gotten worse to this day. A lot of it's just like kind of like the same topics, you know, rugs, sex, and then alcohol, that stuff. Like, there's no, like, real depth. These guys have a lot of depth, like, really making you think. Ooh. Crazy. Listen, I know, I know you guys are probably gonna give me a lot of crap about pausing too much. Well, guess what? This, we're, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm here to listen to a song, and you, you're here to watch me react to a song. Um, so get over that. I mean, if you want to just hear the song from start to finish, go listen to the original song, right? But I'm just trying to understand the song, and I think that's the most important thing because I, th I think that's what you're supposed to do when you listen to music. It's not just be like listen to it and be like, oh, this just sounds cool. No, you, you kind of want to be able to break it down and understand the meaning and how it came to be. But reading this, every year is getting shorter, never seem to find the time. So at the, for me, for example, at the age I'm at, I have a wonderful wife and I have four boys, uh, 10, 9, 4, and 2. Time for me at this point, it's hard to find time to be able to do all the things I want to do just because I have so many other people um, that I have to, you know, make time for as well. So it's hard to have that free time or to be able to devote time or to plan ahead just because life is so busy now. So that's what I'm feeling coming out of this part of the song is when they're saying every year is getting shorter, never seem to find the time is that I'm at this age now. And as I get older, it's going to be more difficult to find the time to do the things that I want to do. Um, and that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, man, it's crazy how much. This is my second time listening to Pink Floyd um, on this channel. And it's this band, without a doubt has made me think more than any other reaction I've done on this channel. And this song was written 50 years ago. That's wild to me. That's absolutely wild to me. I love that idea, but I'm also very disappointed in myself that I, di I didn't listen to this band growing up. Or I mean, that's, that's kind of a regret for me. Um, cause I, I think... Not just even this song, but I'm sure a lot of their songs make you think about life differently. And who knows what I'd, what kind of person I would be? Because music is very influential, um, and it's cool that this band is able to give that effect. It's I appreciate that. Wow, I feel like I'm becoming more wise <laughs> each minute that I've listened to this song. That's incredible. Yeah, so let's bring it home here. Something more to say
I loved how they ended that uh, to hear the softly spoken magic spells and then the music, their voices all just got soft and uh, filtered out. That was that's I think that's cool. It's just the little things that I find really unique and awesome. And this band is just full of those kind of feet, those uh, those unique qualities in their music. Um, wow. For me. I enjoyed this song more than comfortably. I'll put it out there. Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, it was cool uh, to watch Comfortably Numb and see them perform it, you know, watching it live here uh, on YouTube. Um, I thought that was really cool. But just to be able to, I mean, during that performance, I was so captivated by what they were doing, <clears throat> especially during uh, Gilmore's solo that was just mind-blowing. Same with the one in this one, too. Uh, but like I wasn't really focusing so much on the lyrics. It was more of just watching their their performance on stage. And that's I mean that and I'm I'm you know, I'm I do have that uh I don't wanna say it's problem because it's necessarily not because I do want to appreciate bands for how they perform live, uh, because it's important. Um but to be able to step back and really focus more on the lyrics, uh that's what they're there for you to interpret it own way or uh, whatever it may be. But this was, this was a lot different. Um, and it made a lot of sense. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, 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 I'm starting to understand when people say that Pink Floyd is the greatest band of all time is the most influential band of all time. Uh, wow. Okay, uh, we're going to have to find another Pink Floyd song. So I'm going to need you guys to help me out with that one. Go so down in the comments. What's our next Pink Floyd song? Um, so big shout out to Lisa. Thank you so much once again for, uh, you know, the, the donation and to, to bring me into the atmosphere of Pink Floyd and to really appreciate their music. Thank you so much for that. Um, wow. But anyways, guys, I'm Tom Toughness. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. Sorry that this was a very long video, but there was just so much to talk about in this. Um, and I apologize for all the pausing. I made sure I did not pause during the guitar solo because I know that is a cardinal sin when it comes to uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, when I did Comfortably Numb, I was specifically told on that request, don't you dare do it. Um, and I didn't do it for this one either, but man, that solo was wicked so good the bass the bass in the song the drums in the song that that intro was just wild uh and i just love how the song gets powerful and then it, it it literally is like you know watching like uh you know going to the hospital and you know you got those machines that you know kind of show the lines going up and down like your heart rate it's kind of like that um on listen to this song like it has its highs and then it brings you back down and just it, I don't know. It's such a cool feeling. Very unique, different from anything else I've heard. I like that a lot. Um, and that's what this channel is there for, is to find uh, those, whether it's a new emotion, new feeling, whatever it may be, that's what I'm here for, is to find that. And I thank you guys for bringing that. Thank you so much for bringing Pink Floyd here on the channel. But anyways, guys, I'm Tom Toughness. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. We hope to catch you next time, whether it's on a Pink Floyd reaction or whether it's on any of our other reactions. Throw something down in the comments. Let me know what you think, what this song means to you as well. Uh, I enjoy reading your guys' comments. So that being said, I'm Toughness signing off. Take care, be safe, and goodbye. Later, friends.